I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jacks. News for Jacks learned the inappropriate conduct that got three male Clay County Corrections deputies fired 10 days ago involved sexually explicit activity with female inmates. Deputy Austin Hatcher, Deputy Marcus Beard, and Deputy Corey Clarita were among several corrections officers under investigation, but they were the only three fired. As the FBI warned of copycat threats following two deadly mass shootings over the weekend, the Clay County Sheriff's Office happened to be training school guardians for active shooter scenarios. The FBI told its field offices in Jacksonville and across the country it is concerned about people mimicking the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton. Florida's top prosecutors coming down hard against the former owners of a Jacksonville Chevy dealership accused of defrauding customers out of more than $1.4 million. It's the result of a year-long News for Jack's I-Team investigation. Attorney General Ashley Moody announced a restitution settlement against the owners of Riverside Chevrolet. Moody's taking action against the former owners under the Deceptive and Unfair Trade Practices Act. And it's the last day for tax-free back-to-school shopping for supplies here in Florida. For a list of items on which you can save the 7% sales tax, goes to newsforjacks.com. The news continues on Channel 4 and newsforjacks.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.